been like this before in my life. Now viral videos show, for lack of a better term, a robot dog joining the human members of the NYPD's response to a domestic dispute inside a nature building in Kips Bay Monday. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Um, it felt surreal. 344 East 28th Street Tenant Association President Melanie Ocello shot one of those viral videos on her smartphone and compared the scene she witnessed to something out of a dystopian movie. It scared me. The NYPD told Fox 5 the 70-pound four-legged robot equipped with cameras, lights, two-way communication, and artificial intelligence, allowing it to move on its own, remained on standby Monday while human officers arrested the suspect and charged him with criminal possession of a weapon. I think it really speaks to the skewed priorities. Ooh. Remember this day, y'all. Remember this day. April 29th, 2021 is the day it all began. We're looking at that dystopian future, that uh, post apocalyptic world, you know, that's in all the movies that we love. That I love, I do, I love post apocalyptic dystopian movies about, you know, the future where robots you know take over or or we gotta fight you know rebel against the the robot love that stuff but <laughs> it's here like five look those those dogs they run three miles an hour or something like that right now in five years time 10 years tops they'll be running 50 miles an hour shooting projectiles watch lethal and non-lethal this is definitely the start of that future and look at what the police are doing during this day and age this time in our country they're sending robot police in now this is a time when we really need human policing we really need cops to 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 come down to earth and you know be people you know with the people um not definitely going the wrong way guys by sending a robot dog into the projects Today I read that a shootout happened out in Oklahoma or Indiana, one of these places. And, you know, some cops went down in the basement after this guy and he shot them both dead. Why aren't you sending robot dogs down in the basement of rural white America? Why are you sending robot dogs into the projects in the inner city? Think about that. Look, we just we just finally got a guilty verdict. Chauvin, uh, you know what I'm saying? Finally. We finally got a little bit of justice and it seems like they kind of got mad at that and decided well now we're just gonna send robots in because they can't sue us they can't convict us when we kill black people because no one did it right it's just it's robot that's a scary thought especially right now in this day and age and in, in the time that we're living in I can't believe that that's what they that's what they thought was the right move. That was that was not a good move, guys. That was a dumb that was a dumb move because it shows people it shows people that y'all really <laughs> your priorities are skewed. You don't care about the people. We need to be doing more things like a human cop coming in, treating someone with respect and dignity showing people that don't trust you that already know you're coming to to hurt us exploit us and pretty much harass us kill us whatever you want to do with us we already don't trust you so now you're going to send in robot dogs and that's your solution that's your next move i don't know man i just think it was ass backwards this is not the time for robot dogs in the projects this is a time for people in the projects policing coming in showing trust building trust so it's a yeah it's a scary thought man and it's not even thought no more you know like i said i love dystopian movies and and, and comic books about apocalyptic futures and all of that that's some of my favorite genre so i know it well and this is it this is the beginning mark my words don't forget this day this is when it all started remember this day because in five ten years when it's really bad this is gonna be where it all started so write it down mark your calendars and get ready get ready because this is it this is how it starts and it's sad man it's sad that that's what they thought was the next move but hey you know what we're dealing with and now we know who we're dealing with and they don't want to deal with us they want to send their robots to deal with us now you can say yeah oh it's gonna help you know officers not get 
hurt or killed. That's great, but were you really afraid to get killed when you sent that dog into the projects to for a domestic dispute? But yet you send live officers after this guy who's known to have guns, known to have an arsenal of weapons. They send you over there to, to, to do a wellness check and y'all go in two cops walk down no armor just walking down in the basement looking for this white guy who has all these guns don't you think that's the time to use the robot dog don't you think that's who needs that's how you you protect yourself but no they profile black people they assume white people are reasonable and can be reasoned with and we, we want to talk it out sir we don't want to use lethal force where's that energy when you're dealing with black folks where's that energy why is that energy misplaced and why do you think that black people are the danger who shoots up schools who shoots up the job who blows up federal buildings who shoots everyone in a movie theater is it black people or white people just saying.